One of the most common scenarios for self-service BI users is to combine data sources. In this video, I'm going to walk through how to combine traditional relational data with data from Google Analytics. Many companies use Google Analytics to measure how their websites are used, but site usage is often only part of the story, and we can use self-service BI tools to quickly pull together the data Google collects with other data we have. I'd like to analyze the use of content on the msbiacademy.com website but I want to use dimensions that Google Analytics doesn't know about. These are data elements like video author, the category hierarchy, the date each video was published, and so on. This data is stored in the WordPress relational database. The data from the WordPress database is easily accessible via ODBC. The Google Analytics data is in Google's database, but it can be imported via Google's web service layer. Since Tableau has a built-in connector for importing Google Analytics data, I'm going to use Tableau to create this self-service solution. I've previously imported content data from the WordPress relational database into this Tableau workbook. It gives me the ability to see some interesting insight into the content, for example this view that shows the number of posts by parent category. I can also see content by author and category, which is interesting, but it doesn't tell me anything about how popular different types of content are or how visitors are interacting with it. For that, I need to import the Google Analytics data. To import the Google Analytics data, I start by selecting Connect to Data from the Data menu. Tableau has a built-in connector to the Google Analytics Web Service APIs, so we just need to select it from the data type list. Next, we authenticate to Google with a Google ID that has access to the Google Analytics data we'd like to extract. Then we have to authorize Tableau to access data on our behalf. Next, we select the web property that we'd like to extract data for. Finally, we select the data we want to extract. Google Analytics lets us select seven dimension attributes, so we have to be somewhat specific about what we want. Once we've made all our selections, just press the OK button to begin the data extract. Once the extract is complete, the Google Analytics data is added to the data card. Just to see what we got, let's build a simple pivot table with page views by country and then change that to view it as a map. In our data set, the US visitors tend to overweight the colors, so I'm going to manually tweak that back to add more color to other countries. So overall the data looks pretty good, but what we really want to do is join it to the content data we already have from the WordPress relational database. Let me build a quick cross tab of page URLs and show you how we can connect this data. Here in the page list, note the URL parameter P. This parameter has the post ID from the WordPress database, and we can use this to join the two datasets. But first, we need to parse the URL so we have only the post ID as a number. To do the parsing, I'm going to create a calculated field. Actually, I'm going to do this in two steps to make it easier to read and maintain. The first calculated field is called post ID step one. And this will pick out the ID from any page that has either a P parameter or a less than ID parameter in the URL. Either of these parameters points to a video page that's being viewed by a visitor. The second calculated field detects if additional parameters follow the posting ID and just removes them. First, let's check to make sure our parsing operation was effective. I'll add the calculated post ID next to page URL and visually scan to make sure that the parsing works. Now 
Now that we have the post ID field in both datasets, we can use Tableau's data blending feature to link them together. Since we now have a post ID field with the same name and type in both datasets, Tableau assumes that joining on this field is what we intended, so I can just press OK. To test whether the join is working, I'll drag the video title from the SQL data source into the view that has page view data from the Google Analytics data source. Now as I scroll down, I can see that URLs with the P parameter have a video title from the SQL data source included on the rows, so I can see the join is working. I went ahead and built a number of Tableau views using the combined data sources. As you can see, as I go through the different views, we can now get a lot more insight from the combination of the Google Analytics data source with the WordPress metadata data source than we would get from either one of them individually.